पासवर्ड वैलिडेशन यूजिंग जावा स्क्रिप्ट हे व्हाट्सअप गाइस वेलकम टू फाइन गैप यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी मोर इंपोर्टेंट बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न कंप्लीटली फ्रॉम स्क्रैच दैट हाउ वी वैलिडेट आवर पासवर्ड इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी दैट इफ आई विल टाइप हेयर वन दिस इज ग्रीन इफ आई टाइप हेयर लोअर केस इट शोज मी दैट योर पासवर्ड कंटेन लोअर केस करेक्टर्स अपर केस एंड सिमिलरली इट विल आवर दिस वैलिडेटर विल ऑल्सो चेक फॉर स्पेशल करेक्टर्स एंड इन द लास्ट इट विल चेक आइदर एट करेक्टर्स एक्सिस्ट इन आवर पासवर्ड और नॉट सो फ्रेंड्स वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी मोर इंपोर्टेंट एंड बिफोर स्टार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर YouTube channel for our regular videos without any delay let's start first of all here we have a php file and i will create a basic html structure here give a title to it like password validation inside this we have to create a div with class wrapper create an h1 tag inside this type password validation create input tab where user will able to type his password and give an id to this so we can access it in javascript next create an unordered list and create five list items in the right side you can see that that this is our current output next give an id to this like eight characters and type here contain eight characters this will be the error or a message to our user that either the user's password fulfill our this condition or not next give an id to this lower case and type here contain lower case characters next give an id upper case and a text here upper case characters next give an id like contain number and type here contain numbers our this list item will show to our user that either his password contains number or not and in the last type here special characters and type contain special characters this is our current output next we have to give CSS to our this design. So I will type here padding zero, margin zero, and box sizing border box. Refresh this page. So this will our current output. Our these properties will remove the default margin and padding from our these elements. Next type here body, display flex, justify content center, align item center, and minimum height 100 vh. These four properties will bring our content exactly in the center position of our screen. next type here background linear gradient and type these values to get the same results i have copy this linear gradient value from a website so basically this linear gradient property will bring a beautiful background linear gradient to our this output next copy this wrapper class paste here and type width 100% maximum width 600 pixel background color white padding 40 pixel and border radius 5 pixel so by adding these properties our output will look like this next i will create a wrapper class here and an h1 tag and type here text align center and margin bottom 40 pixel so here is the style of our h1 tag next copy this class paste here and copy this input tag and paste here and the style that we will write here will exactly implement to our this input and i will type here width 100% height 50 pixel margin bottom 20 pixel padding 20 pixel and font size 18 pixel so now our input will look like this next we have to remove these bullets i will copy this wrapper class copy this ul element paste here and type list style type none by doing this these bullets will be removed so first of all what we will do do here i will create an object copy the id of this input paste here and type here document dot get element by id and in single quotes i will type here the id of my input by using this technique we can access an html element and use that element in our javascript similarly i need to copy this and paste it five more time i will copy this paste here and similarly i will initialize all my list items inside javascript that's it and similarly in the last copy this special characters id and paste here so that's it next copy this pass input object which contain our input and type on key up is equal to and guys this is an arrow function in javascript basically this is a function but uh, this is the shortest form to write a function you can search on the internet that what are arrow functions in javascript so whenever user will type any of the key this function will be called if you want to see the output i will type here 
function is called let me refresh the page press f12 to see the console and just notice at this position that whenever i will type something it's missing something i have figured out there was a little bit error in my code so let me show you actually i need to initialize my all these elements correctly for uppercase i will copy this and paste here this is for contain numbers and this is for characters so now let's just see the output so now in the console you can see that when i will type something our this function will be called whenever i will type press a button this function will be called next i will copy this pass input field here and before this i will create a javascript variable like user password is equal to pass input dot value dot value is a javascript function and by using this we can get the value that user have insert in our input field and this value i means the password that, that user will type will store our, our this user password variable next type here var lowercase letters i have created this variable and here we have to declare a regular expression i will type here forward slash forward slash g semicolon and inside this i will type a big bracket i will teach you what does it means and next i will type here a minus z basically our this pattern defines that the letters must be between small lower uh, lower case a to lower case z it means our this regular expression will check either the password contains a to z characters in lower case but after this we have to do one more thing if user password dot match we have to use this javascript function lower case letters the regular expression that we have created and then what we will do we will type here lower case the list item that we have initialized here dot class list dot add valid and semicolon similarly i will copy and paste this but from here i will type remove we have to copy our this css class invalid and paste here so refresh this let me and suppose if i type here big character r you can see that nothing happens but if i type here d you can see that our this character have been green but next again i will type here else i need to copy this paste here and otherwise what we will do we will remove the valid class and add the invalid class so now you can see that if you will remove this so basically we need to refresh this first of all and now if i will type here character you can see that it is red if i will type uppercase still it is red but whenever i will type lowercase our this list item will turn its color to green so here i will type a comment check lowercase letters and similarly i need to copy and paste this here i can type here pattern type this pattern and similarly type here pattern we can use any vari variable that we want and similarly i will copy and paste here pattern and here we have to define the pattern like a to z our this pattern will check that either uppercase characters exist in our password or not let me show you the output if i will type here a uh, we need to do one more thing we have to copy this uppercase object and paste in these four places refresh and now you can see that when you will type the uppercase then it will green but if your password will doesn't contain the uppercase it will turn to red similarly i will copy this paste here and type here 0 and 9 copy this con contain number object paste here and now our this pattern will check for numbers and similarly what i will do copy this paste here here i need to type here check for numbers check for uppercase check length of password to check the length we don't use we will not use the regular expression we can directly type here if password dot length which is a javascript function is greater than 8 then you have to copy this 8 characters object paste here and we will remove this bracket from here so that's it let me refresh the page so first of all i will type here an uppercase this is green and next i will type a lowercase a number this is now green and next when our password will contain eight characters you can see that this will also turn to green and in the last friends we just have to copy this and paste here because in the last we just want to check either special characters exist in our uh, password or not to check the special characters i already have copy and paste a string here in which you can see that our special characters have typed you can type for specific special characters 
at this position the area that I have underlined but this will check for these special characters I already have copy and pasted this uh, regular expression to save time but basically in this regular expression the a the area that I have highlight is just the special characters that we want to search in our string and similarly I will copy and paste here in the last I need to copy this special character object and paste here let me refresh and now you can see that when I will type a special character it will turn to green so friends I hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching